one. Yeah. How long have you all been eating this way? For me, it's going on seven years <laughs> since I got married. <laughs> uh, but I think that's not true. We've gotten better and better as the years gone on because we did not, like even one year ago, I eat more vegetables today than I did one year ago. So I would even say um, it's been a work in progress for sure, eliminating things. But I would say this uh, this well with this many vegetables, I'd say probably the last seven, eight months. Um, and, and like I said, it's been progressively just gotten better. Um, so it's definitely, it's a work in progress. I think there's stages to, to eating and I think um, we still don't, you know, aren't perfect. I mean, um, we eat, you know, I had birthday cake on Sunday. <laughs> You know, but but I think that's I okay. That's okay. Because <laughs> I don't like birthday cake. Yeah, it's all pick and choose, right? Uh -huh. um, that frosting was calling my name. So, uh, but it's 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 pick and choose, and it's it's about being consistent. You know, over the long period, and then having your treats, you know, intermittently put in there. So that's the key. Perfect. I think that's a good a good point and um, like we always say and our motto is always baby steps and oh, yeah. I totally agree with that work in progress thing because mm -hmm. we just want it all now you know we want to eliminate everything now and we want everything to change now but and even our clients they want these answers well, what should I do and what should I eliminate and it's like a lot of times you got to figure out what works for you yeah, and what exactly. you got to do and I think I've noticed that too like okay now I'm eating more vegetables and now I'm Right. Mm -hmm. The thing is, too, it's not like you were asking me about how you can get parents and kids. It's not rocket science, man. It's simple. We make things so not simple and make it complex. I and mean, you think it has it to be. Simple. You got to like do this, this, and this. No, you just have to do it. Do it. Eat right, and eventually, it just becomes habit. You can ha you can have cheat days. I don't necessarily cheat as much as I, I know I don't cheat like I used to. Before I got married, I was eating water burger twice a week. Nice. <laughs> now it's but like, now I, do, I eat it like once every couple of months, and that's maybe. if I would if I've been out and I've had a few drinks, you know, I want something bad. And that's I even think, home. since we've watched some of the the videos like Food Inc. Food Inc. and whatnot, yeah. that I think we've mm -hmm. almost pretty much eliminated that yeah. altogether. Now we call cheat meals. We call them gratitude meals. Mm -hmm. Because, word. yeah, we just wanted to get away from the negative, and we don't want to even call it bad food. We want, because we really want to bring it out, like, that it's not, you're not cheating, you're eating it because your gratitude, you're grateful that you are aware you can to eat that food. Um, a much better way to put it. Do you, are you ever around a lot of other people that seem to, to kind of get carried away with their cheating? Oh, I have I had a cheat meal today and they kind of a little too much negativity going on. Only when I go see my family. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no good meals for the most part. It's all gratitude meals for them. Uh, all the time. All the time. Yeah, but it's a whole different side of the rainbow. I mean, they, my family's not the most healthy, healthiest of the group. So that's the only time I'm around people that are eating bad. <laughs> yeah. Have you, um, have you all seen a lot of changes in the Outside family, kind of outside the Central, um, and your family and friends that aren't really in inside that community. Have they? Has anybody kind of piqued some interest and made some changes there? My friends think we're crazy. They don't even have a clue. They, they, they think it's some small little like cult boot camp gym with like ten people, and they don't have they don't realize it's a way of life. Most of my friends, most of my friends know that's fine. And I would say my friends are mainly in the cult with me, but <laughs> um, but my, even like I'm thinking of a few of my girlfriends, they think it's extreme. They really, it, and it's it's so amazing to me that, that you would think what we do is extreme because it's it's their only way to be healthy. Yeah. So. Well. Isn't it? It's our way. It's never the only way. Right? Am I right? <laughs> it's our way or the highway? <laughs> yeah, so our pantry uh, has, hopefully there's nothing bad. Uh, and I can tell you about why there is something. No, uh, I'll tell you this. Uh, we've got salt, pepper, and spices over here, extra coconut oil. These are all like supplements, things that we take. Um, you know, I... I've gone back on some of these. I recently did a cleanse. And I have like gummies. I like gummies. We've got Savannah and Stone um, do the Juice Plus gummies. So that's her chirping away. 
the green and the reds. Uh, Mom and Dad do them as well. Uh, we've got our AdvoCare performance uh, supplements. Uh, so you can see there's uh, some tea for them, some tea for us. Um, we've got uh, organic, or not organic, but walnuts, uh, just mm -hmm. raw. Um, up there's some more cooking stuff and uh, stuff I don't barely touch. It probably could be thrown out, but, <laughs> but sometimes I look up there like, why can't we make? Like I see some breadcrumbs. Like I don't know how long those have been in there. Um, you know, uh, like Chris bust down some sweet potato chips. Those are in there. And like oh, even like even like my mom, like uh, the kid's birthday was last like week, them. and she sent him a bag of this. And so for a few days, they'll chew on these. Not probably gonna kill them, and they love them, and that's their treat for a little bit. I want some. Yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. this is so that I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> it looks that's good. I mean, we just did a big uh, primal clean out, and pretty much took everything out of the pantry, and we basically put back a shelf. One shelf. Yeah. And this was that. in your own, or for someone? This was in someone else, and even okay. in our both of our pantries were really mostly what's in our pantries are kitchen supplies. Yeah. And, Condiments. And so uh -huh. we were just talking uh, about how big, you know, in new houses, these new houses are building, the pantry is like bigger than my closet. Yeah. And we were just talking about how it's kind of getting ridiculous how big the pantries are getting. Yeah, yeah. we don't need it. We don't need it. Uh -uh. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so. You know, Chris uh, shop grocery shops uh, at the National Grocer on um, Tuesdays, and so we have. Uh, you know what she's pointing to? The cake. That is some of her birthday cake that was left over, and Chris made me throw the whole thing, but I couldn't. I mean, I'm talking like a big chunk was left, and I was like, I can't do it. And so I was like, I just cut a small piece of that. Maybe the kids. Will, we haven't even touched this since Sunday. Then so I threw out the big chunk, but I put some in a Tupperware just in case. Is that terrible? No. Okay, but um, you can see we have settle down. Let's look in Savannah. What do we have in here? We have grapes, strawberries, eggs. Um, I just got the kids a little bit of yogurt the other day. Savannah rarely eats that, but it's some Yo Baby organic yogurt. But apples, spinach. Um, mixed filled greens, grapes, I think I said that, hummus left over from the party, um, celery, we've been eating tons of celery. Uh, Chris came home with this ginormous thing of carrots, I thought, sweetie, what are we, rabbits? <laughs> and I'm not kidding you, I, I think Stone had to drag it in, um, and he was like, we're going to eat all this, and I was like, he was like, we'll start juicing this week, and I was like, we're all going to be orange. Um, you know, and like I said, more celery, um, he, Chris gets the organic broccoli from Natural Grocery, and you can see he's got two huge bags. Um, so that's nice. And then our fruit is tons of oranges and apples. Lately, it's oranges, apples, and then, of course, we get the berries. We eat the berries first because the other stuff lasts longer. But my kids snack on fruit. And um, that's re really unless I'm eating the vegetable and they want to dip it in something, uh, you know, some ranch. And that's pretty much it. Cool. So, cool. Awesome. Cool. Me, personally, being more primal or more paleo, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm paleo zone or anything. But just eating better and working out, um, I've like, what, what's the word? I flip flopped my aging process now. I feel like I've gotten younger, and I use, I actually get like Jeremy and other people will mention how I look. I look younger now, look more younger now than I did, you know, three or four years ago. But you know, a lot of it was stress related with the work that I was doing, the way I was eating. I was drinking probably you know too much on the weekends, and now I don't do. Any, I don't work. <laughs> That's a big one. I, don't, I definitely don't drink like I used to, um, and I eat really good and I work out, work out a bunch. And so it's now that's my way of life. And I can tell the difference. I think it gives you clarity. Um, you know, when you're not you're not feeling full all the time, or um, like you overconsumed, and um, the freshness of the food that you're eating um, allows you to you know um, maneuver your body better and to have that um, clarity of what it is you're doing or trying to accomplish. And so I think that really comes into play. And plus you're drinking more water, you're just more full on aware, you're present. And I think that's huge. You know, people, um, you know, 85% uh, of Americans don't like what they do. And, um, if, and they're probably not present and then we, eat because we're unhappy and, and make bad food choices. So I think it, it comes full circle. It's a synergistic approach to wellness in all areas of life. Gotta watch out for the, the gremlins in the garden. <laughs>